Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we have another Finnish League, not League Cup, Finnish League match up for you guys today here against PK35. Now, I'll be honest with you, when I when I played it last time, I I, I seriously cannot leave this game on a bad result. I, I seriously have to keep playing until I get a good result or two. Seriously, it, it, it bugs the hell out of me. It, it irritated me so much that I went and played my, my Galway file that I've been playing for, fuck, a long time now. But anyway, it, 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 it irritates the shit out of me. So, um, I decided to go ahead and just, you know, record another match here today. I don't really need to, but I want to. I mean, it, like I said, it just, it irritates me. It bugs me. You know, that, that last result against... Uh, you know, against uh, whatever they're called in our last game, really, really gets to me. Really gets to me. I mean, it bothers me. It irritates the crap out of me. But anyhow, um, we do have some players coming back now. Uh, we have uh, what's his name? Hikari uh, here. He's who's a decent fill-in for um for Granholm up here. He will most likely be moved in there, like as soon as he's available, just to give, uh, just to give him some time off. Um, he's gonna need it, quite honestly. So, um, oh, we're gonna put him. Oh, never mind. Maybe we'll leave him on the bench. But anyhow, uh, Lapalainen might get some time here soon as well. Um, however, the problem is I did take a look at uh. Uh, PK35, and they are another team that is very comparable to ours. So yeah, it's it's gonna be you know it, it's gonna be a tough a tough go honestly. Um, I'm gonna save here before I do anything because I haven't haven't saved yet just in case anything catastrophic happens. Always got to think about that by the way. But um, I did take a look at them and they're pretty they're pretty even with us as well as everyone seems to be. Um, that's just kind of the way it is in this in in this this division, which is fine. Which means every game is gonna be is gonna be pretty tough and challenging. It's gonna suck trying to accomplish what we want to accomplish. However, you know it, it'll be all right because one of the things about this game is like it it really means a lot to be in a certain division. And even then, you know it. You know, even then, it's kind of it's not really gonna give you access to a lot of great players or anything to make things easier for you. So, you know, we'll we'll see how it goes. But um, uh, I may have to go and make some changes um, to our uh, player instructions here that we're doing right now, um, because if we continue to leak goals the way we are, you know, that's 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 no good. Um, we need to we need to to shore that up. And um, sometimes going in there and tackling harder and really hard and just you know blowing up the the opposition's attack you know often criticized for for being anti-football but sometimes that really does does a lot and goes a long way into kind of giving you a chance to play i mean i, I did it recently against real madrid and in truth you know, it, it really helped out a lot. It, it, it helped out a lot. Just because, you know, when you're playing those better teams like that, you know, going out there and just disrupting the flow of play gives you a much better chance. And um, something I, I should mention right now, um, Monsalve's uh, goal to, to games ratio here, um, in my personal opinion, when, when you want to build a defense in, on this game, you really want to keep your have your keeper around or under his appearances in terms of goals conceded meaning if he's at six appearances you want him to have like six or fewer that's just the way i feel about it i mean obviously if you're in the neighborhood seven you know eight something like that you know okay nothing to really cry over but that's just kind of how i that's my goal with my with my keeper is to keep him under you know his appearances because you know a goal a game ratio for your first team you know if you want to keep you want to keep that under one that way you have a much better chance to win you know, I mean, I understand sometimes you're going to get blown up and you're going to have, like, five goals scored against you, and that's the way it is. But, you know, as I said before, clean sheets and just getting, you know, shit done on the defensive end is is what you, you want to do. But anyway, we are... Ooh, it's raining and shit. I don't think we've had one of those matches yet. A rainy match? I could be wrong. 
could be crazy, I don't know. But, um, oh, sorry about that. My nose is, I, I, my allergies are terrible. I'm, you know, sneezing and all that shit. And then, you know, I took my, I took my Claritin and then hopefully soon it'll, it'll go away here. But anyway, like I said, um, I've been itching to play this because I, I hate, like I said, I hate walking away from it on a losing note. So here we are. Hopefully shit goes better. Um, of course, now that I say it, I'm sure we'll probably fucking lose, but you know, oh well. If we lose, then I just get to go play another match. It's just the way it is. Just the way I'm going to do it. Because I'm competitive and I hate losing this game. I really do. It's one of the few games I just, I cannot stand being the loser in. I really, you know, I mean, it, it just bothers me. It really bothers me. Because it's one of those things that I feel like I'm pretty good at. You know, I mean, as I've said before, I'm not the best. And I'm sure there's things that some of the expert people or whatever the fucking, you know, pros or whatever you want to call them are sitting there screaming at me, you know, with my fucking tactics and shit all fucked up probably. But, eh, you know, oh, well. I don't like how we're surrendering shots so early, though. Especially shots in threatening positions. Um... Uh, one good thing is, oh, one good thing is there's, um, oof, movement's decent here. One good thing is our, our division, the division we're in, the finished first division, is pretty, it's only 10 teams, so, I mean, sitting at the fifth spot, it's not not like you gotta go and climb the ladder too much. You know, it's not like the, the lower leagues in England where you got 20 some odd teams in a division named to climb up from 12th as, you know, a pretty a pretty tough ask but you know we we should be all right and we're retaining possession pretty well here i like that um yeah uh, the one bad thing about um uh potentially uh, tackling a lot harder uh going back to what i was mentioning earlier um is it will produce a lot more cards but i mean it's it, it like i said it, it gets Better sides, tougher sides. Probably something we should have done against FC Lati. Would have given us a chance, but you know, I, I didn't didn't think of it at the time, honestly. And like I said, I, I've only started using it recently against you know really good sides when I play my Galway thing. But um, you know, oh oh, okay. I don't like their their formation has kind of given us has been given us fits here early this this uh, four two three one thing I guess is what it is it's been kind of or four five one depending on how you look at it it's been kind of giving us fits um nah I mean in, in the early going but also like I said I mean we're not quite comfortable with our own with our own formation and stuff right now so oh god. We're not quite comfortable right now with our own formation, so I mean it's just one of those things that we should should grow into, like I said, later in the season. And I'm not sure, I'm gonna have to go check, but I think we play everyone everyone three times. So I mean that's I don't know, three times nine, whatever the hell that is. Twenty seven. Oof. Oof. That was that was good. That should have been a goal. But um oh I hate when they do that. I'd rather them just, you know, either try and find a way to just either head it on or just, you know, I don't know. Corners are, are a little, uh, our attacking corners are a little lacking. I did go and check that, by the way, and it's it's fine. It's the way, oh my god, there's a goal. Jesus Christ. Luckily, he missed. And see, and that's, that's one of those things too. Like I said, our defensively, we don't, we aren't quite sure where we need to be. And I, and I, it's one of the things that I really dislike, you know, about about, you know, starting up a new team is it just, as I've said before, like you start, you start so far behind when it comes down to tactics. Now I understand like the realist, you know, the realism there, but I mean, it's just. <sighs> It penalizes you, like I said. It penalizes you so much, and it always feels like no one else has any, you know, is is operating at any other handicap. And it's 
I don't know. It, that to me is, I don't like that. It feels unfair. And that's just, that's just me. I mean, it's, you know, I, like I said, maybe it's just, you know, the real world thing. But and that's something too. Like when you start this team and, you know, the basic, the, the standard for them is a four, five, one, and they're not even that good at that. I mean, they're hardly better than, than we are at our four, three, three, which I don't like. I don't like that at all. And it's like, you know, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with them taking a long time to understand our new formation because I'll, you know, I'll change and use a different formation if they're all comfortable with it, you know, and all that good shit. I'm perfectly fine with that. I, I, I understand that. I understand the learning curve that you have to have when you try and understand a new formation. That's perfectly fine with me. But, oh my God, Jesus Christ, really? <sighs> Yep, and there's us losing our fucking third match, second match of the domestic season. Because I don't think this team is going to really have all that much in terms of, what in the fuck was that? Seriously. There's fucking nobody down that channel. I mean, just fucking turn it over for no reason. None whatsoever. Well, like I said, like right there, I mean, that was a complete dis defensive breakdown because they don't fucking know where they're supposed to be and like why i mean that was just a simple ball to read it was a fucking ball that got tackled three four people had a chance at it and no one wanted to go and go after it and get it that's kind of that's kind of not kind of it's very fucking frustrating it fr frustrates the shit out of me it really does and then now we're just gonna fucking not figure out how to cross the goddamn ball here but yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And then now we gotta sit through this shit. And yeah. I mean Yeah. Pass was late and didn't have enough on it. Hmm. It's like, where's that creativity that we had against the Viking at match? I mean, really, we had all that creativity, all that movement. It was nice. And it's all gone now. All gone. Well, maybe I should have started on all, but eh, oh well. I mean, it is what it is. And that's something, too. It's like, honestly, we got better players on the pitch now than we have in previous matches. And you just all want to pass it back because... No one knows how to pass it forward. Then you get a piss poor cross right there. That just ends up being a corner, which will end up being nothing at all. Hmm. And one thing I noticed about this game, like it's like when when there's goals or goals when there's headers and stuff like that off the breakdown, they they stand very very little chance of getting of getting in. Um. It's where basically you score off that one cross right there, the initial one, or you are likely not to score at all. I mean, it's pretty much, oh, Jesus. Are you going to have that offside? No, no, it stands. Oh, my God. Oh, well, Harala, thank you for saving us. To put together some decent possession there over the last, what, 10, is it 10 minutes? Since they, since they scored, let me check here. They scored at... Yeah, 20, 24, yeah, the last eight minutes. So, didn't put together a good possession, a good spell. But now, of course, here we are just going to fucking let them have the ball now. Yeah. Yeah. Because well, that, sounds, that sounds right. I mean, you know. Oh, we're getting another. Uh. See, I don't like them taking shots from that position right there. I mean, it, that's one thing I wish you could do. Like, I wish you could, like, in the set pieces... I, Either I'm missing it entirely, but how can you, how can you, you know, kind of tell them to take shots or cross it, you know, that's one of those things, or, you know, cross it with pace, float it, you know, things like that. There's no, it seems, it seems to be one of those things that's just up to the player, and I hate that fucking effort right there. No one's fucking moving at all. They're just fucking waltzing around like it's fucking 1999. I don't know what that fucking means, but it sounded right in my head. Oh, Jesus. Oh, come on. 
mm. and then there's that in this game too. You'll see, you'll see players. It, I don't say it's more. Oh no, it actually happens quite a bit in in FM14. When a player's, you know, when the ball gets sent down deep, you know, and the player looks to run onto it and hits him in the back, I'm like fucking irritates the shit out of me. All right. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, that fucked up. So much for that. God damn it. And that's something too. Um, you may not yet have noticed, but um, it, it's it's pretty hard to motivate your team and shit when you're a new coach. In this game, a new manager, it's you have to kind of build that reputation with them and shit. Um, you know, I mean, obviously you don't come with much of a reputation, or I never do. So like I said, I'm I'm perfectly fine building that. So the early goings, you know, you really gotta, you you really ooh. You really aren't going to motivate your club all that much, all that well, until, you know, you start winning things. You start, you know, putting together some, some quality performances. And if you've been there a while, I mean, that's it's one of those things that seems to me, you know, just it just takes time. You know, the longer you're, you're at a club, you know, the more the more the players are going to respect you. And it happens wherever you go, too. Even if you come with some sort of a reputation, you're still kind of at a, at a little bit of a handicap. Oh, my God, really? Just fucking Osei just runs away from it. You kind of at a at a bit of a handicap when it comes to to motivating your club when you start off at a new club, even if you've been in the game for a while. So I mean, it, like I said, it's it's just one of those things where you just got to build your reputation and, and put together you know some quality seasons and just stay there for a while. That's one of the reasons why I like staying at a place for a long time. You know, you 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 build that reputation, and I like having that reputation. It's nice. You know, it's it's much easier to then bring in new players and oh god, that should have been gold. One thing I did notice about this game, you'll see it a lot. A lot of players will fall down often, and it's not a foul. I mean, I'm I'm not complaining or anything. I'm just noting a fact. It's kind of weird. Like you just saw there. I mean, player cleared the ball. He clearly got to it before he, you know staff silo, but it's just weird. They fall down a lot. Oh Jesus! That was that was potentially something there. Uh, I'm kind of. Oh, my nose is still bothering the shit on me. I was gonna say you got Granholm wide open there, and Kokea Aho cannot put a boot to it. Wonderful. Wonderful. Hmm. Yeah, see, like I said, like if you don't get to it right then, you know, it's it's you almost always never make anything of it. I mean, the ball doesn't ping around; no one's able to get to it. Like if it's a half-hearted clearance and it just bounces out to out over here or something, no one ever gets to it. I mean, it's just one of those things that gets cleared easily. It's it it still it seems oof, God, that hit the underside of the bar. Ah, oh, Jesus. Well, our second half's a hell of a lot better, and. I'll be pretty upset if we lose. Oh, come on. Are we going to get any cards or anything yet? They're, they're racking up the fouls over there. I mean, 6-2. to two. That's something, too. I try to I try to be... Ooh! Mm. Oh, I was hoping I'd come across and sneak in there. Uh, that's something I, I look to try and do, too, is stay away from fouls. Stay away from foul trouble, really. I mean, I just... It, it seems to suit our side a little bit more than it suits other sides. So, uh, I'm going to make a decision here, and it's probably going to be the wrong one. But, uh, no, we're just we're just going to tough it out. Ground home is just going to sit the next match. That's what we're going to do. I'll say, put Nermela in there, and we'll go with Onal. Hmm. Well, really, could take out Strafsila or Stasila because he's not—he's not putting together a whole lot. Should we do that? Should we give Felman the chance? No, we'll just we'll just go with it. It'll, probably won't work, but probably you know I just saw that too. Who's who's our defender having a? Oh God, all of our defenders are piss poor today. Hinkala, 
Ryston and Granholm are all just not very, not very good today. <sighs> not something too like, like yeah, this this formation or just this just this game. Jesus Christ, we sent through like fucking twenty minutes there. Good God. You know, um, one thing about this this game is you know a quality defense really gets you pretty far. I mean, as long as your defenders are playing halfway decent. You know, I understand Gronholm not having a whole lot of uh, pace or, or anything like that because of his, his tired legs over there. But, you know, it's just a little bit of that really goes a long, long way. You know, having a quality def you know, defense is just going to, you know, limit our chances or their chances of scoring. And, you know, and it's just, it's, it's a fine line sometimes. And what in the fuck are we doing back here? Seriously. Good God. Oh my! I hate when the game does that. Like they get in this little three-man game where they just fucking pass it around back and forth, and it's like seriously, dude. There's all sorts of options here. Fucking hero. That's what I'm talking about. All right, two-one lead. Finally. Mm. Sorry. It very it makes me very very happy there. I'm resisting the urge to clap and stand up in my living room and jump up and down. Quite honestly. <laughs> um. Yeah. As long as we don't fucking squander this now. I mean, it's like I said, our, our second half has been pretty good. Our possession 53 to 47 is pretty good. You know, Harala, like I said, is... Oh, my. Come on now. Can we get a third and shore this up right now? I'd be... Oh, what in the hell? I hate when they do that. Oh, just send it down there. I mean, seriously. Yeah, three defenders back here. Just, you know, covering, oh my god, just covering everything, you know, why, why not send it down there? And what the fuck was that? Who was supposed to be over there? Mm. I'm so, so gonna be happy when that sort of thing doesn't happen very often. It's gonna be nice. No, 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 oh god, I thought that was gonna be short for a second and that striker was gonna hop onto that. I was about to fucking freak out because that's that's our senior player, our 42-year-old midfielder Nermela, who should have all the the um, mental attributes to not make decisions like that in mistakes. Um, yeah, you know that's one thing I haven't I haven't talked about. Maybe I'll do that in the next episode. Um, for those for those people who are new to this game, um, show you kind of what the stats. How, how they do the stats in this game because I the reason one of the reasons why I really love this game is because how the stats um really uh really intermingle and, and and integrate within with one another um ooh I thought Harala was off size there for a second what in the fuck was that you know and why playing uh, senior players older players is is one of those um one of those things that you see quite often and why it actually means something in in sports you'll you'll understand that too especially if you start playing this game because you'll see why then you know why it is beneficial to play with older players that's also one of the reasons why i decided to make that change in this lp you know as, as opposed to how i usually do things just because you know like i said it kind of it kind of speeds things up because they do play you'll get a little bit more consistent you know and they'll make smarter decisions you know you won't have as many mistakes and and it's a little less. Oh my god. That was just terrible. Hankula made a good drive on the ball there. I, I like that. Oh, somebody, somebody. You had Harala. You had him. Oh, he was making a hell of a run. Now the tired legs of Groundholm put in something and it comes to nothing. Under Mela. Should, should I do that from now on? Just like. Just, just commentate on on the passage of play. Should, should I just do that? We are putting together some good possession. I like this fifty five, forty five. You know, our possession here in the second half has been has been very, very good, very, very good. I've been very happy with that. I mean, really, this this match. You know, after that goal, we really started to ass assert ourselves and 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 really play our game, which is obviously what you want to do. You want to. There's lots of ways, like, 
Um, you know, if, if you look around on the internet, there's several websites that, that are built to, oh my god, no. Thank you. Oh. The save. Jesus. And yeah, your vine and just puts it out. Um, there's several websites that'll help you kind of understand the way stats are and and um, how your um, your your tactics and shit work. Um, because a lot of it, yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of funny. Like the way they they explain it is is basically your tactics and stuff are the ideal way you want to play. Now you're not always going to play like that because whatever the opposition will do, how good the opposition players are. In other words, there's like 19 different factors really that go into whether or not your tactics are actually enforced, you know, and, yeah. And, and like I said, it, ooh, I did not know Heitenden was all the way down there. Oh, he's off sides. All right, full time, and we ticked 2-1 win. Hell, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to be, I'm going to be, yeah, oh. You know what? I'm going I'm to tell him, well done. Get that morale up a little bit because, you know, it, it was a little piss poor. A little, little down, the, down on the ditch, and that was a good match to come back and and win. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. Not happy with the shot count. The shot count's a little. Mm, but see, this is where, yeah, this is where we want to be right here in second. Yeah, I think this is a good place for us. You know, right up here at the towards the end of the season. Uh, you know, this is really where you want to be. And honestly, you know, when it comes down to like beating FC Hawka and, and these other teams that are up here at the top, you know, it's well doesn't really mean much right now because you know we're only three matches into the season but you know we'll 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 get there and we got Haka coming up next too that's going to be an interesting match hopefully it's not one that we lose um I will have to go take a look at them and like I said we might just decide to go play ugly football and just start tackling the shit out of everybody and slow this game down and give us a chance to win you know and it's it's a viable possibility and and in my honest opinion a manager who's willing to do things like that, who's willing to change his shit like that on the fly, is is the mark of a good manager. Man, uh, manager. There you go. Shit, I cannot fucking speak. But anyway, um, that about does it for this episode. If you made it this far on YouTube, you know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching. And remember, the ghost cave is the only place where pants are optional. <laughs>